So now that I have removed those cross lines, I'm going to start drawing all my components. Zoom in to the top uh, side. To zoom in, I pinch in or out my fingers or scroll in and out if I'm using a mouse. Um, there are a few shortcuts that I have here that I'm always using, but if you don't see these shortcuts in your menu, then you can always go to create and find them here. The next one that I'm going to use is the three point arc. So I have it here in my shortcuts. I'm going to click on it. Okay, I've created that line and I also want to create a line that closes this shape up to here. So I want to do exactly these lines that I drew onto the other side. Exit the tool that I was using, I press escape, and then I'm going to actually mirror this shape onto the other side. So to do that, I double click on that line, then click on the mirror shortcut. If I don't see the mirror shortcut there, click on create and click on mirror. Now I need to select the mirror line. So to select the mirror line, I can access the origin tools that allow me to see the middle and the planes and I can select them as a reference. That's why it's helpful to create drawings starting from the middle. Okay, so by default the origin goes hidden whenever you have finished a sketch. So I'm going to just bring it back up and now you can see the plane and the two axes. So I'm going to select the middle axis, this line, and you can show or hide constraints. I don't want to see the constraints. Okay, so here we have that first part of the drawing. Now I need to have this actual part mirror at the bottom. So I'm and probably not this one either. So I just want this one because I want this line to be extended all the way to here. So I'm just going to select the curve. So now over here, I just want to extend a line all the way up to here. It's because I finished the sketch, uh, closes the sketch, but I can also go back to the sketch, right click on um, the sketch and click on edit sketch. Okay, so I'm going to use the two point rectangle. I'm going to make a rectangle that starts in this corner and expands all the way up to about here. And that's going to be the tunnel that is going to carry out the ball for the pinball machine. And now I need to create the internal components that the pinball is going to bounce off. So I'm going to create the area for the ramp. The, I want to create that ramp. I'm going to do it 40 tab by 90. Uh, small perforations are going to be 3 millimeters. And then I'm going to hit enter. Zoom in so I can see everything better. I can grab this one. Press shift and that one and press M. And I'm going to click here where it says create copy and I'm going to move them across. My levers are going to be, I'm going to make them with this line tool. So the shortcut for the line tool is here at the top. You, if you don't see it there, you can also click on create and select the line tool. Move this backward a little bit because it's too close to um, and past the middle line and we need another set of these on the other side. So I'm just going to double click on that line, press shift and double click on that line. Press M to activate the move tool and then move them to the side. 
and I am going to actually mirror these two elements on the other side. So what happens when you create a mirror image is that when you alter one side, the other side will also be altered. So to prevent this from happening, you need to delete the mirror constriction so you can um, edit them independently. So we're going to click on this side and we're going to delete that constriction and now we can move these independently and the other side is not going to be affected by it. This is going to be uh, what I am going to export. I'm going to export this first part for the laser cutter and then I'm going to save it as DXF. And this is going to be my base.